Your WhatsApp profile picture, about status, and last seen are public by default. These details can reveal more about you than you think, like your habits, location, or other online accounts. Tools exist that collect this info easily, and anyone can use them. To protect yourself, review your WhatsApp privacy settings and limit what's visible to strangers. We'll show you how these tools work and how to secure your digital life. Let's get started. OSINT, or Open Source Intelligence, means gathering information that's already public. Hacking is breaking in. OSINT is just observing what's available to everyone. OSINT tools collect and connect your public data from WhatsApp, social media, and more. Knowing how OSINT works helps you protect your privacy. Let's see these tools in action. Let's open the toolbox and look at some WhatsApp OSINT tools. First up, what's OSINT? It checks if a phone number is on WhatsApp and pulls public info like profile pictures and about status. Think of it as a digital phone book lookup. No hacking, just asking WhatsApp, does this number exist? It's the first step in any investigation, confirming the target. Next, WhatsApp OSINT. This tool tracks changes over time, like when someone updates their profile picture or about status. It's like a security camera on a public statue, recording every change. Over time, it builds a timeline of someone's digital activity. These tools don't break in, they just observe what's already public. By collecting these small changes, they can reveal patterns and habits. It's a reminder, even minor updates can be tracked. The more public info you share, the more complete the story becomes. Let's see what else is in the kit. On to the next tool. Next up is WAPA, the Swiss Army knife of WhatsApp OSINT. It checks if numbers are on WhatsApp and tracks last seen status for entire groups. Imagine a bird watcher logging when each bird appears. WAPA does this for hundreds of users, building a detailed activity log. It can reveal when groups are most active or if two people have similar online schedules. Now meet Phone Infoga. It's not just for WhatsApp, it scours the internet for any mention of a phone number. It links numbers to names, emails, social profiles, building a full digital dossier. Think of it as a master librarian connecting every clue across the web. One phone number can unlock a whole digital identity. These tools show how interconnected our online lives are. A single data point can lead to a cascade of information. That's why every public detail matters. Let's see how these pieces come together. Now for the heavy machinery, tools like Email to WhatsApp and Jasperan. Email to WhatsApp tries to link an email address to a WhatsApp account, often by leveraging connections on other platforms. If you connect an email to a phone number, you've just bridged two major parts of someone's digital identity. It's like using a business card to find someone's LinkedIn, then their phone number. Then there's WhatsApp Scraper. It collects data in bulk from public WhatsApp groups, profile pictures, about statuses, phone numbers. It's an industrial harvester, scooping up everything in its path. This shows how being in a public group can expose your info to anyone, not just group members. Scrapers automate what would take days to do by hand. The real work comes later, analyzing all that data. But the collection is fast and indiscriminate. The lesson, public groups mean public exposure. Let's break down what's actually public. Let's list what's public on WhatsApp. First, your phone number. It's your unique key. If someone has it, they can find your profile. Next, your profile picture. It can reveal your face, location, or link to other accounts if you use the same photo elsewhere. High-res photos might even have hidden metadata, like GPS coordinates. Then, your about status. Even a simple quote or job mention can give away clues about you. Frequent status changes can reveal your habits or mood. Finally, last seen and online status. If public, these show when you're active, revealing your daily routine. Correlating your last scene with someone else's can hint at who you're chatting with. Each piece alone seems harmless, but together, they build a detailed profile. It's like someone logging every time you open your front door. The more you share, the more complete the puzzle. Let's see how to lock things down. Time to build your privacy fortress. Let's build your privacy fortress. Start with a privacy checkup. Go to WhatsApp Settings, Privacy. For last scene, profile photo, and about, set them to my contacts or nobody. This limits your info to people you trust. Next, check your group setting. Change it to my contacts so strangers can't add you to random groups. This blocks scrapers from harvesting your info in public groups. 
Now, enable two-step verification under Settings Account. Set a six-digit PIN. This protects you from SIM swapping attacks. Even if someone gets your number, they can't access your WhatsApp without your PIN. These simple steps massively boost your privacy. It's like locking every door and window in your digital house. Take a few minutes to do this now. Your future self will thank you. But don't stop here. Your digital life is bigger than WhatsApp. Securing WhatsApp is just the start. Your digital life spans many platforms. The same privacy rules apply to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more. Using the same profile photo everywhere makes it easy to link your accounts. Try different photos for different platforms to create separation. Usernames matter too. Reusing the same handle everywhere lets OSINT tools connect your accounts instantly. Use variations or unique usernames for each service, especially where you want privacy. Watch out for information bleed. Details from one platform can reveal more than you think. A photo on Instagram might show your city. A Facebook post might reveal your school. Each piece is a drop, but together they form a puddle of info. Be intentional about what you share and where. Assume anything public can be linked. Compartmentalize your digital identity. Let's wrap up with how to own your story. We've explored the OSINT toolbox and learned how to protect our digital lives. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, but the goal isn't fear, it's control. Technology isn't the enemy, ignorance is. You're the driver of your digital story. Every privacy setting you adjust is an act of control. You decide what's public and what's private. OSINT tools are just fast readers. Your job is to decide what pages you leave out. Be the editor of your own biography. Guide the narrative by being intentional with what you share. Don't be afraid. Be aware, curious, and deliberate. Make privacy a habit, not a one-time fix. This knowledge is your superpower. Use it to share what you want and protect what matters. You have the tools and the power to own your online presence. Build a digital life that's safe, secure, and truly yours.